Alright, it's been how many days? I guess you can say... Uh, seven, eight, or nine. Not eight or nine, because the last time I touched a game was in the last Saturday of July. And this is the first Sunday of August, so as you can tell, I got started with Chrono Cross and I got hooked on that shit so much so that I neglected this game completely. For a long time it was just me focusing on Chrono Cross, which I don't really feel bad about doing that because I kind of prefer it. Okay, Perry. Okay, Yang, you can do this. You can fuck someone up. Yang's supposed to be a badass character. I don't know what I'm doing wrong with him. I mean, he's been useful in the past, but... I don't know. There's something I'm doing wrong with him. It's not his fault, per se. I guess I just don't get this game. I mean, what's not to get? I have no clue. I'm doing something wrong. No shit. Okay, I want... Maybe I should start using ice. Oh well. Hmm. Okay, hit her with the life spell. Okay, come on. Yeah, man. Yang. You my nigga, Yang. Yo. I'm gonna need some new headphones. That's it. Because these shits, they work. It's just that functionally they're useless. I shouldn't... You shouldn't be hearing me struggle with my headphones and shit like that. That's unnecessary. It makes me look like a dick, and you don't want to hear that shuffling noise all the time. Unless that's, like, soothing to some of you. Don't know why, but shit. Speaking of which, what levels are my characters? Because I just saw the Nintendo Capri Suns Let's Play of this, and his guys were off the chain, I guess. Yeah, I saw the weird-ass video where he was talking about his semi-embarrassing crush on Rydia, and how even in vacations he would think about her the mall he would think about her. It was weird as shit, but... His let's play of this game was actually pretty good. I will admit that. Like... At the video before, I think it was episode 23. Or 20... No, it was 22. And that scream he did was funny as shit. <laughs> it was the greatest, like, scream I've ever heard, but... Aside from that... Damn... Going back to playing this game, I don't know why I was so reluctant to play it again. It's actually pretty good. Like I've s spoken to people and I've said that this is a good game. I guess I wasn't feeling it because I just finished 9 and I guess that was more 
about my PS2 life, I mean my PlayStation 1 life than Team Super Nintendo. I mean, it happens. Sometimes your preferences get the better of you. Come on, finish him off. I always like felt that because I grew up with PlayStation 1 and because I like the edginess of well not the edginess uh, willing to take on difficult themes that you see a lot in PlayStation games I kinda like that more Nintendo was a little more strict and I grew up early age at early childhood with these kinds of stories that tackled on challenging themes Okay, since they were surprised, I think it's going to be harder to escape. Jump. I'll, I'll, I'll bring her back when there's one person left. Okay, I, I need you to finish one person off... Why did they switch rows? Oh, oh, it's because I did the change thing. Like, what I thought that meant, what I thought that meant was... See, I'm taking all sorts of new L's because of this. What I thought change meant is that you could skip to the next person. That is to say that if I'm not really feeling playing as Rosa, I could switch to the person who has his turn next, which might be like Yang or Rydia. That's what I thought it was. I didn't think that it just meant that front row people become back row people. So I'm already learning a little bit. I'm learning as I'm playing this game. It's not a blind LP by any means, yet when... You make foolish decisions. Any game can be like that. Any game can feel like a blind LP. What the fuck am I doing? Yeah, but my guys, they need to level up some more. Because they're nowhere near as good as, like, Nintendo Capri Suns characters. I mean, he had them... Um, he had fucking Cecil in his late 20s. That's where I want Cecil to be. Right now. That sounds Gucci, man. I'm going to make this a relaxed episode, like some of my other episodes when I took a little break. I mean, I'm not worried about wasting your time. I've made Let's Play videos that were hour-long escapades, and they were fun to watch, at least when I watched them. This one I've been more concerned or worried about the time. Fuck all that shit. Let, let me just play the game. Although I am getting heated right now.
Shit is too hot. See, so I'm just gonna have her parry. Get it, Yang. Get it, let's get it. The fuck are you doing, Yang? Oh, I forgot to put you in that fucking front row. And I got Rydia in the front row, too. How... How is my shit set up? Alright, form. You'll go to the back. Okay, form. This shit ain't working right. Okay, I I got this. Now it's on point. Took a little BSing, but now it's on point. So how you like me now? That was unnecessary. That was a full potato right there. This melody, man. Le let's see how this is set up now. You see, now they're all Gucci. The whole party is on point. And we got some decent equipment to sell, so that's good. This is going to be the second time I'm level grinding in this game. First time I'm doing it on screen though, so. These guys can take a little bit more of a beating. Okay, um. Will this make him unstoned? I doubt it, but it's worth a shot. Oh, wow, it actually did make a difference. I like that. You see, I'm getting better at understanding the simplicity of this game. Alright, so I'm going to give this a rest, and then I'm going to find out where exactly am I supposed to go to get to the Tower of Babel. This has been Mr. Wonka 7, and catch you next episode.